welcome to Vale Park as Ipswich Town and Port Vale meet for the first time in 22 years. James Scowcroft and Matt Holland were on the score sheet in a 2-1 win the last time the Blues visited this part of the world, with that season culminating in Town's promotion to the Premiership under George Burley. Kicks long from inside his six-yard box. It's Don Ball rising up against Harrison. And now it's David Worrell trying to head it forward. Kyle Edwards gets his body between the ball and Tom Conlon and then finds Leif Davis on the left-hand side. Edwards receives it back on halfway and will look to drive past his man. He's done well there in towards Ladapo, 25 yards out. Ladapo will hit one low and Stone has to get well down to his left to parry it away. Wes Burns trying to follow it up and he's harassing Dan Jones here on the Ipswich right-hand side. Harrison competing with Danassian, played forward and then cut out by Will Forrester. Now his Worrell driving down the right-hand side, delivery in towards Harrison at the back post, and he heads it inches wide coming in. A real opportunity for the former Ipswich man. Don Ball helps it out to Danassian on the right-hand side for Ipswich, just in front of the technical area of Darrell Clark. Carl Edwards has space midway inside the Port Vale half. Leif Davis left-hand side, low cross in, the Dapo's there! Freddie Ladapo meets it inside the six-yard box. And Ipswich Town take the lead. The Blue Army away to our left-hand side. They're going balmy. What a move from the Blues. And it's Leif Davis who's been so impressive in recent weeks with the assist down the left-hand side. If someone, you, you, you take a touch out there, then everybody adjusts, they can open the body up. But a first-time ball like that, impossible to defend. Impossible. Wes Burns has won it high up the pitch for Ipswich Town. He's picked the pocket of Connor Hall. Burns into the penalty area, forces the save from Aidan Stone. The Port Vale energy, and then suddenly, like now, they've took over the game. Port Vale have, have dropped a notch, and Ipswich now have got the passing game going. It wasn't the most simple save for Stone as well, because... Burns cut across it, and there was movement on that ball. Corner comes in, Humphreys, low shot. What a fantastic goal from Cameron Humphreys. The corner was delivered in. It fell to Humphreys on the edge of the box. And it's a first-time finish on his first league start for Ipswich Town. He has rifled that into the back of the net. And Ipswich double their lead. Oh, season pro, be proud of that. And the ball's come out, he's kept his head over it, he's got his knee over it, and he's hit it on the uh, the half volley. Ball, Humphreys linking up perfectly, and it might open up for Burns here. Chaplin has found him. Burns is the wrong side of his man. Just a heavy touch, but he gets there before Stone, does he? Stone out really well off his line to smother the ball away from Wes Burns. Good goalkeeping, brave goalkeeping. He probably should have been beaten earlier on when Ellis Harrison had a, a free header at the back post but Walton was fortunate to see that ball fly wide and since then Ipswich have really grown into the game and, and taken control crossing position for Port Vale from the left hand side in it comes from Jones it's Worrell rising and it might drop for Gavin Massey right footed shot Gavin Massey pulls one back for Port Vale in comes the corner from the far side, in towards Massey, not cleared yet. Drops to Smith, and Smith scores the equaliser. Well, what a start to this second half of Port Vale. Edmondson looking for options ahead of him, rolls it out to Carl Edwards to his left-hand side. Edwards looking to take the ball on the run. Davis slides it forward to Humphreys, left-hand side, the Port Vale box, cut across goal, drops to Ladapo, Ladapo turns it home, second of the game, and Ipswich have the lead again. Fantastic, I'll tell you what, he's done brilliant, one for us there, by the way, and I'm not sure whether that may have been over the line anyway, I, I think he's got to the line there, the keeper sold himself maybe, and he smashed it on his inside, and it'd be interesting to see there whether that was over, or it was actually put in by Ladapo. Ladapo. Such a difficult angle oh. here. It's the Port Vale throw in midway inside their own half. That's not where they want the ball to be. Stone will now clip it forward. Appeal for offside. Harrison sneaking in around the back. Harrison, but he went for goal, but he got his shot all wrong. And the ball will roll harmlessly out of play. Leif Davis angering the home supporters. He just let the ball hit him as it was thrown back to him. And that's it. That's the final whistle. Ipswich Town have held on to win 3-2.
And what a quite incredible game it's been here at Vale Park this evening. It's one of those, and it's uh, it's a fantastic win. What any win away from home is a good win. Uh, to win in the circumstances that they did, tune it up, looked as though they coached in to concede two goals and then keep the composure and, and score very quickly after Paul Vale had got their equaliser.